we're looking at one of the sweetest portraits here in the museum. It's a portrait of Helena van der Schalke. She's two years old. It was painted by Gerrit Borg in 1648. She looks so vulnerable. Such a sweet little girl with those big dark eyes. I also get the feeling that Ter Borg must have been moved by this little girl. As you can see, children in the 17th century were dressed almost the same as adults, at least if they were rich. And if you look carefully, you can also see little reins hanging from the back of a dress. It's a very nice detail. They were attached to the dress. And you can see one, you see, hanging down behind the right shoulder. And look at the pleats in her dress. Another nice detail. They painted with great precision because linen that had to be nicely folded, ironed and starched, was a great status symbol for the housewife. Clothes had to look neat and tidy, well ironed, properly starched and nicely stored away. And the sleeves, the sleeves of the girl's dress tell us something about the fact that she's from a rich family. As I mentioned earlier on in the tour, when we were looking at the portrait of the three men, you remember by Thomas de Keyser, was that they used flour as starch back then. And there's no doubt that flour was used in this instance too. And look at the charming little cane basket she's carrying with the braid. But I find the way it hangs down so straight somewhat surprising, or at least it, it hangs slightly askew, because if the braid had been soft, it would have been hanging straight down, wouldn't it? The paint has clearly been applied very thinly. You need to move your head up and down a little to see it properly, but you can see clearly the grain of the wood panel showing through. <laughs> 